I was really looking forward to my Spike and Tyke cartoon journey, and then it turns out there are only two cartoons in the little series. So this is the second and final one that I had to watch. This is Given to Tyke, and I rather enjoyed it. It was a little slow in the middle, but then it really picked up and actually left me with a little lump in my throat. It was actually a lot more sweet than I was anticipating. This is a 1957 MGM cartoon directed by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. And at the very beginning, we find out that it's the last day to get a dog license. Any unlicensed dogs will be picked up by the dog pound van. And, of course, Spike and Tyke, with caring owners, have their licenses around their collars. But this other dog, who doesn't have a collar, gets wind of this and decides to try and steal Spike and Tyke's collars. And it's basically a wild goose chase and a lot of swapping of collars. And it's never quite clear who's going to be caught, if anybody's going to be caught, and who's going to be wearing whose collar by the end of it. Uh, and I rather liked it. I thought it was very unpredictable. As I said, it felt a little bit slow in the middle. It felt a little bit repetitive. But after a while, it started to pick up again, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I do love Spike as a character. I wish this little series had been more, but, you know, there are quite a few Tom and Jerry's with Spike and Tyke, so there's, there's plenty of content. It's just a shame this one wasn't longer. We have Dawes Butler voicing the various characters, and, and I, I enjoyed it. It's well animated. The bits that were good had a great pacing. The chase scenes a lot had a really good pacing. It's just that little bit in the middle that seemed to be a little bit repetitive, and the narrative seemed to slow down a bit. But it's well animated. It's quite sweet. It is unpredictable. Given Tyke is a really good second and final Spike and Tyke cartoon.